So, Among Us. I wasn't entirely sure I was gonna review this game. Uh, it basically came out of nowhere. Got a whole month of solid, constant play from tons of people, and now it's player basis. Kind of dropped off a little. Uh, however, I still play it. Uh, I still played it during that time, and I think it's a game worth coming back to every once in a while. Uh, generally, I would say that Among Us is a, a good game that didn't do well when it came out, but it was able to sort of lurk in the background until the, the niche that it filled became bigger. Uh, for those who don't know, Among Us is basically a mafia werewolf style video game that is available on literally all platforms. Uh, it came out two years ago, but it wasn't very popular when it came out. Uh, however, with COVID, the situation was uh, ripe for a crazy burst in popularity. Uh, Among Us is part of a very specific niche of party games, which involve uh, hidden roles and socialization. Normally, this alone would just put it in a competition with many other different video and non-video party style games. However, with COVID, a large portion of these games are now sort of unplayable, which uh, means Among Us was basically unchallenged in its specific niche. Uh, anyway, despite the popularity, the question remains, is it a good game? I think yes, to a certain extent. It's not an amazing game, and if I'm being honest, it's not very fun if you're not playing with friends. But as a game, it's decent, and it fills its role very well as a party game. Uh, let's start with the gameplay, as it's the part that makes it a game. Uh, the gameplay is split into two different groups. The first group is a social voting aspect. Uh, all the players are sorted into uh, a secret groups, either an imposter or a crewmate. Uh, there's always significantly less imposters and crewmates. The goal of the imposter is to kill everyone. The goal of the crewmates is to either find out and then vote out the imposters or to finish a set list of tasks. I'm going to stop here and discuss the tasks because they're the, the second group. They're all simple puzzles, uh, from Simon Says to just swiping a card to sorting things into boxes. Uh, they aren't very intensive or hard, but there is a lot of them. If the crewmates finish all their tasks, they win. Uh, this means that even though the tasks are a very easy way to win, because they aren't very hard or the focus of the game, nobody really wins that way. Um, instead, the most much more fun way to play and win the game is with the, the social aspect. Whenever a dead body is found, all the players are called to a table to vote someone out of the game. The goal is to find out who the imposters are and vote them out. This is the focus of the game, and it isn't really uh, traditional gameplay. The great part about this game is it really has nothing to do with the actual gameplay. It's just that's the type of game it is. That means that as a game, the gameplay doesn't matter that much. Uh, it just allows for the natural you know, party aspect of the game to be fully realized, which is good for the game as a whole. But it means that the gameplay doesn't really stand out as compared to you know other games. Pro next, probably the most well done part of the game is the sort of uh, the rest: art, music, sounds general feel of the game. Let's start with the art style and creative design choices that clearly went into this game. All the characters are shaped blobs and space shoots, which gives the game a real sense of sort of internet animidity. You know, you don't really know who people are on the internet. The people you are playing with could be anyone. You know they're real people, but other than that you don't really know anything. It's a great design choice. It sets the game perfectly into sort of this internet multiplayer genre. Also the fact that the characters don't really have faces or any super distinguishing characteristics contributes to the idea of some being a hidden imposter. The art style is cartoony, but it's a softer style of cartoony. It's very nice and doesn't grate on the eyes like some other cartoon styles. However, it doesn't contain too much softness or that it looks like, you know, an anime that's wholesome. It really makes the game feel like a happy medium um, that's not 100% serious, but it's not completely silly. This also leads into the fandom, which is an interesting part of the game. Normally, I don't really care about the fans of the game, since the actual game normally, you know, that's the the game matters more than who plays the game, uh, but since Among Us can only be played multiplayer, either with random people or friends, the fans actually do matter to this game. More accurately, how the fans interact with the game matters a lot, since you will always be playing with people who play the game. And the fans are kind of cringe, uh, not, not gonna lie. 
the Among Us fandom is extremely bloated at the moment due to the rapid increase in popularity, and your games will be filled with a combination of terrible players, hyper good players, and jerks. In addition, people will leave the game if they aren't the imposter and will cheat by hanging out in voice calls and telling people their roles. So, uh, my advice is to avoid playing random with random people. The game is perfect with friends. With random people, the game can be very frustrating and annoying and just not as fun. Also, apparently, there are hacks for the game, which are not fun, and there are bots and stuff like that. I pretty much never play in public lobbies, and the game is pretty fun. If you don't have friends, then uh, honestly, this game is not for you. If you do have friends, this game is perfect. Even if they don't have a computer, it's free on mobile. As for the sort of out of game fandom, eh, it's full of bad art and cringy memes. I avoid it at all costs, but it doesn't really affect the actual game. Uh, in terms of the actual sort of in game fandom, it's just safer to play with friends. You can easily fall into a server that isn't fun and it can sour the whole game for you. Overall, uh, Among Us is what I'd call a, a good game, but it can easily get overplayed and overdone. As long as you stay in your own friend group with it, it will be quite fun. As long as you, uh, and you know, you vary it with other types of party games, you probably won't get bored with this game. Uh, in terms of actual design, it's been designed quite well for its niche. Um, it's very purposeful and unique, and while it took a while for it to get off the ground, when it did, it went big. I give Among Us a 0.825 out of 1. It is a good game, and I think it will become sort of a classic in the party game genre for years to come. Um, people are still going to play this game for the next year or two at least. It's not going to...